Hi Scorpio, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of May the 15th to the 22nd, 2017. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos with your family members and friends. As you know, this is strictly a general reading and every single card for every single day of the week cannot apply to every single person in the universe. But if you'd like clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, I can give that to you in a private reading. So feel free to, and I welcome and invite you to go up there and push that button, and it will take you to my website. See you soon. We start our week on Monday, Scorpio, with an Earth card. And this is the Six of Earth. And Earth cards have to do with the material part of our lives. And um, bringing that currency in, in the, the way of our jobs, careers, and professions. It also has to do with Mother Earth and the, and the ecosystem. It is the Earth card and our closest circle, which is our immediate family. <clears throat> this shows me that for some of you Scorpios, there will be gifts coming in. And they may be in the form of money, time, or effort. I do see some of you are working on a new career uh, opportunity right now coming into you. Expect that to come in. And also, I see some of you, um, if, uh, if you have applied to borrow money, please know that that money uh, has been um, agreed to and uh, you will get that money. And those of you that are paying off a debt, please know you'll have the resources to clear it. <clears throat> on Tuesday, um, You've been given a water card, and this is the king of water. And water cards are our relationship cards, and sometimes they're romantic and intimate, and other times they're not. But this one is telling me that you will be opening your heart and your mind to those around you now. And you're going to be receiving some heartfelt advice from a individual, a man, and he will have the personality traits uh, that you're going to be comfortable with. He's going to be trustworthy, compassionate, respected, and cultured. And he will be a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. Um, please know that you can safely and comfortably accept his advice. I do see some of you are also giving to the less fortunate, and uh, you're going to be doing some sort of giving it back, paying it forward, or some sort of charity work. Crowning your week on Wednesday, you've been given a major card, and you have been given the Strength card. And the Strength card is all about you needing to know that you're stronger than you actually believe you are. And it's being strong without being abrasive and aggressive and angry. It's about giving uh, in to your greater inner strength and you letting go of any harsh judgments on anybody else. This is about forgiveness and compassion, my friend, when you're being strong this time. Please know that it's compassion and gentleness and patience that lead us to this forgiveness. So be strong, my friend, inwardly, and sit back and take a deep breath. Don't be so angry. On Thursday, you've been given a water card. This is the Queen of Water. Again, a relationship card. And it's showing me that there is a relationship that is uh, developing to a new level. And you need to trust your own instincts and your own intuition with this relationship that you're in. Um, it's all about now how you both let the ego go and be spirit driven. It's how you, uh, it's to do unto others. Do you treat that, treat that individual in this relationship the way you would like that individual to treat you? On Friday, you've been given another earth card. And this is telling me that this is a successful time for some of you with your job. And <clears throat> there may be some new opportunities coming into you now. You need to be told and you need to understand that it's okay to accept these opportunities. Please, please, please accept them confidently. You're being offered because this is the Midas touch card. You can't go wrong. This King of Earth is an amazing card. It's like you can, you know, you're gonna, you could land, you're gonna land on your feet and come up smelling like a rose no matter what you do. So if there is a new opportunity coming down, being offered, you don't hesitate. Say yes. On Saturday, you've been given a major card, and this is the Balance card. And the Balance is about everything being done in moderation right now. And it's about you not making any impulsive decisions right now in a big rash hurry. Because if you've done that in the past, this is your way now of rectifying that, correcting that. Wait for the perfect timing because this is all about compromise and cooperation. On Sunday, the end of the week, major card release. So this is all about moving on. Moving on from a situation you're involved in, moving on from a relationship that you're in. Perhaps you're moving on to a different area you want to live geographically. 
for it can be the end of a situation or a phase in your life know that it's going to bring you more peace almost like it's spiritual transformation know that this is imperative that you do move on there's no benefit in staying in this situation and remaining in it um, you may feel relief and you may feel uh, sadness uh, it can have to do with relationship transitions uh, and close intimate ones so please know you will have friends and you will have family members some of you that will be able to give you support through this releasing at the end of the reading I did incorporate that one ascended masters card and they gave you this Scorpio follow your heart so you know what that's exactly what you need to do um, when it comes down uh, when push comes to pull it's all about how you feel and what's going to bring you your peace and happiness uh, is you need to sit back and think about that so and that is following your heart okay you take your head with you but often what happens is we 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 know what we have to do within our heart and please follow your heart when it comes to making any major decision right now that involves you being more peaceful and happy within yourself I leave you with again with another quote Scorpio and this is the one I chose today for everybody a moment of anger can destroy a lifetime of work whereas a moment of love can break barriers that took a lifetime to build much love see you again next week and know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you, Scorpio.